So the topic that we're going to discuss today is batch apex. Let me tell you some situation that you might have faced while working into Salesforce. That situation is reaching out the governor limits. Remember the day when you used to fire those queries or like uh, execute those DML statements and uh, you, you, you faced a problem and that problem was too many SQL queries, too many DML statements in your program. And you must be thinking that why there is this governor limit in Salesforce? So the governor limits are there because it's a multi-tenant environment. And uh, if you'll try to use uh, many, uh, like all the resources or, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, if you'll try to uh, use uh, as many resources as you want, then wh what will happen to the other users who also want to use the resource at the same time? So that's the reason people, like Salesforce guys have put a governor limit to you. But that is a problem for us as well. As a developer, it's a problem for me, it's a problem for you, it's a problem for every developer out there. Because sometimes we want to work on to large number of records as well. We want to, like, I mean, we want to add, uh, like, many records at a time. We want to edit uh, many records at a time. We want to delete many records at a time. And what I mean by this many is thousands and thousands of records at a time, 100,000 records. What if I want to delete uh, 100,000 records or what if I... Um, want to edit 100,000 records at a single time. So in that case, we cannot just write an Apex program and just uh, execute the SQL or DML, whatever we want to do uh, to, yeah, I mean, execute the operation that I want to run onto, uh, onto large number of records or large data set. So to overcome that problem, Salesforce has come up or not has come up, but Salesforce has given all of us uh, a wonderful concept. And that like the name of that wonderful concept is batch Apex. So with the help of batch apex, we can we can literally execute our operation. We can uh, we can do like we, yeah we can lit, uh, execute our operation onto many number of records or like thousands and thousands of records at a single time. And how we can do that is with the help of batch apex, we can divide those thousands of records into manageable chunks that we call as batches. So like let's say if you've got uh, hundred thousand records. So if you want to delete those 100,000 records or if you want to edit 100,000 records at, a, at that uh, same time, so how are you going to do that? You're going to divide it into multiple parts. That's like, let's say, uh, 2,000 records, 2,000 records, 2,000 records, 2,000 records. So if there are 100,000 records and you are executing an operation onto 2,000 records at a time or uh, yeah, at an instance, so it's like 50 batches that you create at that particular moment. So you can still execute an operation onto large number of records or large data set with the help of batch apex and this concept is very very helpful for the people who have got yeah in medium to large enterprises it is actually required to execute uh, the operations on large data set or large uh, number of records so over there batch apex will help you do that now let's understand how to actually write a batch apex and with the help of it how we can uh, yeah, execute any kind of operation, any kind of database operation or any kind of operation onto large number of records or thousands of thousands of records as the case might be. Now let's talk about that how we can actually create a batch apex class with the help of which we can execute uh, the operation whatever we want to or execute a transaction whatever we want to onto multiple records at a time. So for that uh, you have to create what an apex class like a regular apex class but that will not be that much regular but yeah you just have to click on file then hit new and then hit uh, apex class and then write down the name for it so i'll write it down as update lead batch so the problem that i am facing is that i want to update uh, the yeah i want to update the annual revenue of all the leads uh, where the annual revenue is uh, null that's the that's the case and i've got more than yeah more than more than 200000 records uh, lead records in my database so if i'll write down a simple apex program uh, on like in which i'll write down the sql query to fetch them and i'll update the records uh, one by one uh, with the, with the help of a loop and if i'll fire the dml statement at the end i'll not be able to do that i'll easily hit the governor limit so in order to not hit that governor limit in, in order to do this uh, operation on all the lead records I have to create a batch apex and this is how you create a batch apex first go to file new and then apex class now you need to make sure that the, uh, that the batch a batch class that you're creating is global it needs to be global right and except in that there's one more thing that you need to take care of while creating the uh, while creating the batch 
class or batch apex class that this batch apex class should implement the uh, an interface called as database dot batchable so database dot batchable is an interface which needs to be implemented in order to identify a batch apex class every batch apex apex class needs to implement database dot batchable uh, and yeah we use implements keyword to implement uh, an interface right we all know about it then after uh, database dot batchable we have to use angular braces and we have to write down s object like this simple that's how you create an, uh, a batch apex class but when i'll try to save this i'll get an error see i'm getting it in here three problems class update must implement the method uh, start must implement the method execute and must implement the method finish 